Hey guys. Okay, so I just want to pop on here to kind of update you a little bit again. If you're not interested in what's going on, you can just click forward because these are like longer slides now, I think. Okay, so I just want to clarify some things because um, I just want like the assumptions. And it's, not, it's not like, like everyone has assumptions, not that. It's like I want to tell you like what's going on. So I don't think it's the lip blush because I had the lip blushing done three weeks ago. Um, and you guys saw when I showed you three weeks ago, everything was fine. Um, and then when I went in again, it wasn't for lip blushing. It was for that scar I was telling you about. So there was no tattooing again. That my, my, I have a second, I have a touch up coming up mid October. So there was, this was not lip blushing the second time. This was because you guys know I have this scar on my mouth from having cold sores. Um, like whenever I got cold sores, I haven't gotten them in a very long time, but in the past when I got them, they always came in that spot and it kind of ate away at my lip. So I thought with lip blushing and with injecting right here, you know, a filler, then I would be able to fix the shape of my mouth, which it looks a thousand times better now. Anyway. So the second time I went in, which was basically that day that I would have, that I started to get hives, um, I got Versa, which was right here. It's just like an lip injection, but nothing happened to my face ever. Nothing happened to my mouth. Nothing happened to my face with a bad lip injection or something. It would happen at the point. And the ER doctor told me that the urgent care doctor told me that. So I really, plus other people who work with injections told me the same thing. Okay, now here comes the prednisone part. And um, I just, this is all new to me. And as much as I like, I'm so thankful for like medicine because like, how could I have gotten through this without it? Honestly, well, you know, like I, it's so scary. And I actually hate med meds because I don't like the way they make me feel obviously, but I'm still very thankful for, for everything. Anyway, I want to tell you guys like, how shady this is though like how i don't understand how the fuck this happened so i go into the er and the er doctor gives me an iv um of whatever steroid benadryl paxit and then he prescribes me prednisone pills to take home and he tells me straight up like my husband was there too we heard the same thing um just stop taking the prednisone we don't need it anymore you don't have to finish the prescription there was no tapering i never even heard of this tapering thing okay so anyway, that's that. You get home and the next day, so the next day I go back to the urgent care because I didn't wanna take the pills anymore. I wanted something that was gonna act faster because I just couldn't sit in agony anymore. So I went back in and the urgent care doctor was like, okay, well, what are you taking now? And I showed her the 20 milligrams of prednisone. And then she's like, okay, well, is there a tapering, like what, something about tapering? And I was like, no, so he told me, this is what he told me to do. And then he said, just don't take them anymore. She's like, no, she's like, you're, um, starts with, I don't even know. Something can happen where you can like literally die. Okay. So she's like, I'm going to give you a tapering, something tapering. All right. Then <laughs> we go to the, okay, dude, I go to the pharmacy. It's the same 20 milligrams that's prescribed to me. So I'm over it. Like, I'm just thinking to myself, I don't know what the hell is going on. I just, my, I tapered myself. I just ended up taking like half a pill. So it would have been like, instead of 20, it would have been 10. And then, anyway, I don't know if I've lost you with the story, but basically there's no, there was no schedule. There were, they weren't like, okay, at this day, take 10 and then take five. And then like, or they, 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 I was just prescribed 20 milligrams again. They didn't even tell me to cut the pills in half. I just did it myself thinking like, okay, I better taper off. So anyway, like two nights ago, I just gave myself half a, a prednisone, which would have been 10 milligrams, and then I haven't taken anything since. But I think because I stopped at 10, like my body is kind of going into shock. Like it's been really, really difficult. And I know that there's some, like, I don't know. I, hope, I think I'm going to be okay. Like I'm really going to be okay. Okay. I'm really going to be okay. Um, but it's been fucking crazy. And like, why are some doctors telling me that you don't have to taper off? And then oh, what the fuck, right? Like, that's actually really serious, isn't it? And then she knew I had to taper off, but she didn't give me a lower dosage. What the hell? I'm so sick of this shit. Anyway, so I just feel like 
I'm really okay right now, but this morning I would like, I'm okay. I don't, it comes in like waves or something. I don't know. Like I can't get up. I'm exhausted. Like I can't move. If I move, I feel like I ran a marathon. Um, I'm like falling asleep. You know, I don't know. I just have no energy. I have energy now a little bit. Um, it's weird, but I feel better right now. Um, and I haven't had a, like the rash or whatever, the hives in two nights. Um, so I think that's gone. I, I don't know. Like, I just don't know what it was from. Um, and like all of the things you guys are asking me, like, have I switched detergents, all that? Like, no, I think everything's really the same. Like, I, I don't know. I don't fucking know. It's probably stress induced. Like, you know, I'm a fucking basket case. I probably just did this to myself. I don't know. Okay, so I'm not squabbling with the four ignorant idiots in the comments because um, the 4,000 of you get it and like the four of you who don't get it, I'm not going to waste my time on you. Okay, anyway, um, I changed my eyebrows today. I made them like a little bit thicker. I don't know. What do you think? I, I'm not myself. I'm still like recovering. I'm still kind of shaky. Um, I'm kind of like breaking out here and there, but what do we think about this eye eyebrow? No, I kind of like just wanted like really heavy eyebrows. I don't know. I don't look like myself. But like, to be honest, I am on my deathbed. And like, I actually look pretty good for that, right? Like, <laughs> I do love my lips. Like, I'm so obsessed with them. And you guys know from like the last video, I'm like just doing something different now because I feel like the lips are like the focus because they're so good. Um, I don't know, what do we think? Like, this is, like, I'm literally on my deathbed. But like, to be honest, I am on my deathbed and like, I actually look pretty good for that, right? Like, <laughs> I do love my lips. Like, I'm so obsessed with them. And you guys know from like the last video, I'm like just doing something different now because I feel like the lips are like the focus because they're so good.